The last 24 hours have seen a, a great many explosions, uh, both in Moscow, but also in Kiev as well. And clearly this air campaign, this campaign of drones, uh, Kiev against Moscow, Moscow against Kiev, appears, appears to be uh, in a rather dramatic phase. This increased tempo of air action, if that's what it is, certainly matters because it indicates that the major offensive that uh, Ukraine is about to begin is very imminent. The Russians have stepped up their air campaign tremendously uh, against uh, Ukraine in recent days. Since the 1st of May, they've launched 17 different attacks and three of those attacks have come in the last 24 hours. So they clearly think that something is about to happen and Kiev has made it very clear that the uh, offensive is now imminent. The orders have been given, said Zelensky, and we'll see them play out in the coming days, I suspect. It would be very concerning, I think, for Kiev if these attacks around Moscow turn out to have been initiated by the Ukrainian government because it will strengthen the narrative that the Russians have been pushing that, of course, Ukraine is trying to attack Russia, of course NATO is behind Ukraine, of course NATO is trying to destroy Russia. None of those things are true, but attacks on Moscow that come, obviously, from Kiev will increase that uh, narrative. And the problem for Kiev about that is not whether the Russians believe it or not, but whether it makes the Western backers of Ukraine nervous that they're being pulled into something that they really can't control. The quickest way for Ukraine to lose this war would be to attack Russia with Western weapons. Now, they haven't done that, and they say they won't do that. But anything that seems to cross the line towards doing that will be very bad for Ukraine in political terms. As of now, the big question is whether Kiev was behind these drone attacks. And one of the big questions is whether the drones themselves, the UJ-22s, were actually Ukrainian drones. And were they UJ-22s that were actually used? The evidence so far is contradictory. Um, some of the footage that's come out of, of Moscow are clearly not of the UJ-22 drones, but other bits of, of film indicate that they might be. And so getting to the bottom of it forensically will be very important, and that's, in, that's got to be done, I think, within the next 24 to 48 hours to stop too many hairs running, to stop too many rumours circulating. And the, and the government in Ukraine have got to get on top of this issue. They've got to make it clear either it was them and they're doing it for a reason, or it wasn't them and they can more or less prove that it wasn't them. Uncertainty will do Ukraine a lot of harm.